hello student today i am going to teach the topic managing the cloud infrastructure so let's proceed with the topic managing the cloud infrastructure <music> it is a one of the important aspects in the cloud computing that how to manage the cloud for this managing the cloud two things are important that is managing the cloud infrastructure and managing the cloud application let's have look on that two views cloud management is aimed at efficiently managing the cloud so as to maintain the quality of service it is one of the prime jobs to be considered the whole cloud is dependent on the way it is managed cloud management can be divided into a two part first is managing the infrastructure of the cloud second is managing the cloud application let's have study this two parts let's proceed with managing the infrastructure of the cloud the infrastructure of the cloud is considered to be backbone of the cloud this component is mainly responsible for the quality of service factor if the infrastructure is not properly managed then the whole cloud can fail and quality of service would be adversely affected the core of cloud management is resource management resource management involves several internal tasks such as resource scheduling resource provisioning and load balancing these tasks are mainly managed by the cloud service providers core software capability such as the cloud operating system that is responsible for providing services to the cloud and that internally controls the cloud a cloud infrastructure is a very complex system that consists of a lot of resources these resources are usually shared by several users poor resource management may lead to several inefficiencies in terms of performance functionality and a cost if a resource is not efficiently managed the performance of the whole system is affected performance is the most important aspect of the cloud because everything in the cloud is a dependent on sls and the sls can be satisfied only if performance is good similarly the basic functionality of the cloud should always be provided and considered at any cost even if there is a small discrepancy in providing the functionality the whole purpose of maintaining the cloud is a futile a partially functional cloud would be not satisfy the service level agreement lastly the reason for which the cloud was developed was a cost the cost is a very important criterion as per as business perspective of the cloud on the part of service providers 
if they incur less cost for managing the cloud then they would try to reduce the cost so as to get a strong user base hence a lot of users would use services improving their profit margin similarly if the cost of resource management is a high then definitely the cost of accessing the resources would be high and there is never a losy business from any organization and so the service provider would not bear the cost and hence the users have to pay more similarly this would prove costly for service providers as they have a high chance of losing a wide user base leading to only a marginal growth in the industry and competing with its industry rivals would becoming a big issue so efficient management with less cost is required then at a higher level other than this issues there are few more issues that depend on resource management there are power consumption and optimization of multiple objectives to further reduce the cost to accomplish this task there are several approaches followed namely consolidation of server and storage workloads consolidation would reduce the energy consumption and in some cases would increase the performance of the cloud according to the scientist margaret rouse server consolidation by definition is an approach to the efficient usage of computer server resources in order to reduce the total number of servers or server location that an organization requires as per we discuss the number of aspects previously they are suitable for infrastructure as a service similarly there are different management methods that are followed for different types of service delivery models each of the types has its own or way of management then all the management methodology are based on load fluctuation so load fluctuation is the point where the workload of the system changes continuously this is one of the important criteria and issues that should be considered for cloud application as well as when you doing cloud migration so in the cloud migration encompasses moving one or more enterprise applications and there it environment from traditional hosting type to the cloud environment either by public cloud private cloud or hybrid cloud cloud migration presents an opportunity to significantly reduce cost incurred on applications this activity 
made up of different phases like evolution, migration strategy, prototyping, provisioning, and testing. So, as a point of view of load fluctuation, which is the important criteria for the management of cloud. Cloud fluctuation can be divided into two types predictable and unpredictable fluctuation. Predictable load fluctuations are easy to handle. The load can be pre configured for handling such kind of fluctuations. Whereas unpredictable load fluctuations are difficult to handle. This is one of the reasons that's why cloud is preferred by several users. This is as far as cloud management is concerned. Then there is an issue of cloud governance. So cloud governance is another thing which is closely related to cloud management. Cloud governance is different from cloud management. Governance is a general term in the corporate world that generally involves the process of creating value to an organization by creating strategic objectives that will lead to the growth of the company and would maintain a certain level of control over the company. Similar to that, the cloud organization is involved in the cloud governance. So, there are several aspects of cloud governance out of which SLAs are one of the important aspects that is service level agreements and in today's world number of cloud service provider exist if you are going to subscribe for any cloud services from this cloud subscribers these cloud providers like an amazon google or microsoft they will provide the service level agreement that is sls so sls are nothing but the set of rules that are defined between the user and the cloud service provider that decide upon the quality of service factor if sls is governed by keeping these sls in a mind cloud governance is more and more important for the every cloud service provider as different countries having their set of rules set of regulations and if any cloud service provider is running their data center in that countries in different locations they need to follow their rules and these rules are also part of such service level agreements where any rules gets violated it is going to penalty for that cloud service providers so managing the cloud as well as migrating the cloud application there are number of things with the help of sls and that has happened 
with the help of two things that is the managing the infrastructure of the cloud and managing the cloud application thank you